In this video, I will take one of you guys' future PC build and I will change some components and upgrade it for you for the same price. That way you make sure you are getting the best price to performance system for your needs. This is a video idea from PC Builder, so shout out to him. You will have his channel in the video description. You will also have the instructions on how to get featured in the next video. And you will have the PC build that I will mention today, which is going to be an amazing PC in terms of price to performance if you're looking for a nice gaming system. With that being said, let's start. We have Anthony over here who sent me his PC power picker list and told me I want it for gaming, 1080p mostly, I play Fortnite, Call of Duty, Roblox, Rainbow Six and Minecraft and I want to get easily 240 FPS plus in mainly Fortnite which means public matches, black aesthetic with RGB preferred and preferably below $1500 so that's totally possible but let's see what you got. Okay so here we have his build, I do not like it, some of these parts are great and if you put this PC to together is going to work just fine but I would not recommend this power supply please do not buy this system with the power supply because the i7 13700kf consumes a lot of power and I'm not sure that 650 watts is going to be enough especially if it's C tier rated as this PSU. Anyway for the rest of the components we have the i7 13700kf which I do not hate but I also do not love because it's not power efficient and then you have a 240 liquid cooler from NCXT at $127 we are overspending in some components that we shouldn't be overspending such as the case and CPU cooler. Talking about the case you have the NCXT H5 Flow which is 95 bucks. I do not have anything against this case but then you add 5 fans which are non-RGB and it's kind of confusing because you want it RGB but anyway the fans and case combo is going to be around 120 bucks and you are already 100 dollars over your budget you said preferably below 1500 bucks and you are over 1600 dollars here. Then the other component I do not like is the memory kit the Corsair RGB 32 weeks of RAM DDR5 6000 MHz memory kit mainly because of the timings it's CL40 which is not really that fast and trust me we can do so much better for this budget if you want to play a 1080p resolution. Then you also have your operating system Windows 11 for $124. Now I do not recommend you buying the official one I think you can get Windows for much cheaper from a third party seller but I'm not going to touch that since maybe you actually want to buy the official one. Now let's take a look at my build which in my opinion is much better. I have three builds for you in case you want different things and the first one is going to be the $1500 gaming PC build that's going to deliver better performance than your system because it has the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. This is a faster CPU when it comes to gaming than the i7 13700KF. In fact if we take a look at this picture right here it's around 11% faster on average at 1080p from the hardware unboxed benchmarks. Then also this CPU is super power efficient so if you care about about the electricity bill this is going to be a plus and since we don't need such a big cooler we have the thermal ride peerless assassin 120se argb this one is an amazing cooler for just 34 dollars then for the motherboard we have the msi b650 gaming plus wi-fi atx aim5 motherboard which is from the aim5 platform and is much more upgradable than intel because 13 and 14 gen are kind of the end of the lineup for the intel platform but since you get this aim5 motherboard you are able to upgrade your cpu down the line to a newer M5 CPU without having to change the motherboard. Then for the memory kit we have the Team Group T4 Delta. This one is RGB as well, 32 gigs of RAM, 6000 MHz but CL30 timings which is a much faster option than the one that you were going with and not only that but it's also $30 cheaper. I kept your SSD, 1 terabyte of Gen 4 SSD is going to be enough for the type of games that you play and if you want to upgrade down the line you can always do it because you have another M.2 slot on your motherboard. Then for for the graphics card I kept your 4060 Ti. I was going to change it to an AMD GPU because they are better in terms of price to performance but since you are playing Fortnite Nvidia actually works better with Fortnite and that's going to be important especially since Fortnite is your favorite game. I went with the Zotac version which is actually cheaper than the MSI that you were going with and don't worry the performance is going to be the same. Then for the case I went with the Deepcool CG560. This one is $73 and it already comes with 4 pre-installed fans so you don't have to buy more fans and on top of that the airflow is amazing and these are three RGB fans so you said you prefer RGB I do not know why you didn't get any RGB fans but here you get a much better case and much cheaper considering that you don't have to buy more fans however if you want an all RGB case you can buy one RGB fan for the exhaust fan for around 15 to 20 bucks and last but not least we have the power supply a much better option here in the NCXT C700 
750. This is a 750 watt 80 plus Google power supply, which has enough wattage because the Ryzen 7 7700X 3D is much more power efficient. And it's also an A tier rated unit, meaning that it's the best quality out there. And you make sure that your power supply will not bottleneck your system or even worse, damage your system long term. The total price for this system is $1,500 and the 4060 Ti on a 15 game average from TechSpot at 1080p was able to average over 110 FPS, which means that you're going to get an amazing 1080p gaming performance. So my PC is cheaper at 1500 bucks faster because that CPU is going to be faster for gaming because you get the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D and you get a much higher quality power supply that's not going to put your system at risk long term. Now, this was the first system I made. The second one is $1600 so you were about to spend more than this actually and if you want to spend around 1600 bucks and you're open to it, you can get the RTX 4070 instead of the RTX 4060 Ti. This will result in about 30% faster gaming performance on that same 15 game average I've mentioned before at 1080p. The RTX 4070 was able to average 143 FPS while the 4060 Ti 111. And remember we are talking about ultra settings on high demanding titles so you are getting amazing performance from both GPUs at 1080p. But the main difference is at 1440p where the 4060 Ti is able to average 78 FPS and the 4070 over 100. So if you're thinking of upgrading to 1440p down the line maybe, the 4070 is the much better option and it's more future ready than the 4060. Ti. However, this one is 1600 bucks and that's why I made my third build, which is the same build with the 4070, but you go with a third party seller for the operating system for Windows 11 and that's going to cost you about $15. And then if you are open to that for around 1500 bucks, you are getting the RTX 4070 and the Ryzen 7 7800 X3D, which in my opinion, this build is the smartest choice that you can make since you are paying below 1500 bucks and you are getting about 30 to 40% faster performance that you were going to get with your $1,600 build. And if you are watching this video and you want a PC build and you have a different budget, I highly recommend you watching my video on the best PC builds for every budget and every resolution in the top right of the screen, where I go over the best price to performance system for each budget and each resolution. And if you want to get featured, as I said at the beginning, follow the instructions in the video description. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you on the next one.